another episode of The Blonde Pictures Bollywood. I am your host, The Blonde. And before we start today's episode, I request you to stand up for a two minute silence for the real Karan Johar, who we've lost. As you know, the Karan Johar is back with his new film, Student of the Year, aka S.O.T.Y. I thought a review on his style of filmmaking is definitely in order. Now, we all agree that when he came into the industry with Kuch Kuch Hota Hai, he showed great promise. He was a good writer, a great filmmaker, and had some really good sense of style. But while his style remains, his stories, his ideas, and his ideology now rest in peace. Right from his second film, Kabi Kush Kabi Gam, which should have been ideally titled Ramayan for MRIs, Ramayan for MRIs, Ramayan for MRIs, his talent has been replaced by a desperate need to please the MRIs. Yes, Karan Johar, you have become an MRI pleaser, sister. And he has acquired this tacky trait of copying whatever his foreign contemporaries do and serving it with Kanda Nimu and Achar to the Indians living abroad. When Mansali made black, Karan Johar made My Name Is Khan. Both the movies were about disabilities, one about a deaf, dumb girl and the other one about an autistic man. Now darling Johar, aren't they both disabilities eventually? Haven't you heard of the bunch? Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. And speaking of Khans, I'm sure we all are wondering where his permanent fixture, Shah Rukh Khan, was during the making of this particular film. A little birdie told me it had something to do with Siddharth Manutra, the lead of the film S O T Y. Dear Shah Rukh, I feel bad for you. I feel bad for what Khan has done to you. But I hope you know that your chances of getting back to Karan Johar's film are as unlikely as Amar Singh winning a beauty pageant darling. Karan Johar loves to shoot his movies in New York. I love New York. New York, New York. But Karan Johar understands New York only as much as Rafi Sabat understands subtlety. Well, you know Karan, you're a brat who unbashedly goes for anything and everything that he likes and then just goes ahead and imitates it. Just like Kabhi Aadha Dana Kehna. Another thing Karan Johar loves is Meryl Streep. For example, he made We Are Family after the Meryl Streep star, Stepmom. And then there was Kabhi Aadha Dana Kehna, the first half of which was Kabhi from Falling In Love and the second half of which Meryl Streep would do more. In fact, even his award-winning film, My Name Is Khan, I had a shoot with the film. I thought it was far-fetched. It's so long. In fact, I thought Ashutosh Mubarakar directed it. And his new film, Student of the Year, well, that looks like an exact copy of Jojita Mahisikanda. Jojita Mahisikanda. Jojita Mahisikanda. And the budgets are so high. I'm sure Gary Jordan himself was high when he decided the budgets. But since his films are known to have sold more tickets than the number of strands of hair on Anil Kapoor's entire body, I am sure even this one will end up earning its moon. But the question is, will this flashy, over-budgeted, talentless film that Karan Johar has now come up with work with the NRIs? Do you think your college life will ever be better than ours? Have you heard of an orgy lover? Have you heard of Karan Johar's lover? But the answers to all these questions will be answered only in time. Till then, keep watching The Blonde Witch's Bollywood and I am The Blonde, signing off. Ta-da,